from our place is? Mindsets. Mindsets. Right? That's the main thing. I said four different things, but the main uh, thrust or the main point of this is that it's a mindset. That's why they spent time at Shittim. It was a mindset. And how many know? And for us to be able to, to go after it, whatever your it is. I told you our it is to make contact with this community. How many know God has called us to have an imprint and make an impact? Yes. Yes. Outside of this building. Yes. The same impact and imprint mm -hmm. that you received yes. in the building. Yes. Oh, if it be so that Christ has touched your life, if Christ has touched your life, freely you receive, now it's time to what? Give the surplus, the overflow, the fruit of your life other people in this region are supposed to partake of. That's the it for us corporately. Individually, you have your own script. But as a, <laughs> as a corporate body, as a house, we want the kingdom of God to manifest on all levels. That's the it. We want the kingdom of God on all levels. Uh, verse 4. Yet there should be a space between you and it. About 2,000 cubits by measure. I don't, I, I, 2,000 cubits, how many know? For those that are watching, 2,000 cubits is a cubit for each day, each, uh, each year, so it's 2,000 years. So we taught on that. Uh, the 2,000 year period is the Pentecostal realm, it's the charismatic realm. Uh, actually, for 2,000 years, uh, we've been enjoying the benefits of the cross. It says, Come not near unto it that you may know the way by which you must go, for you have not passed this way hither to four. Boy, that's a lot. Here to four. Or before. You have not passed this way before. So in order for us to get to it, it won't be full disclosure. You won't have all the facts because you never passed this way before. So there are going to be principles and, and concepts and we've talked about a few and one of them, our, our past must die you know, we must uh, relinquish uh, control of our lives in a nutshell for us to be able to transition and go to a, pa a path that we haven't gone before. Which, if I, I don't know about you, I get excited knowing that God has something in store for me or us, let's just say us, that none of us has seen before. But we found out that the prophetic ministry is a key instrument or a catalyst for announcing to us or preparing us. Remember, because we talked about that space between what? You and it. So that's what we've been launching out from the last two teachings. And we've been, uh, I have been trying to prove a point to you to let you know that uh, God is transitioning us. We're in a season of transition. And the enemy wants to break our focus in this season. He don't want us to see anything that God has assigned for us. He wants to send mixed signals. He wants to get us frustrated. He wants to get us preoccupied with some of the things that's around us and in us. So that the space that we have, that allotted time, the time of preparation, the preparation, prophetic process that God has given to each and every one of us, we are forfeited because today is important for tomorrow. Yes. Today is important for tomorrow. We can't break focus now. We've come too far. We can't break focus now. We can't allow an unrenewed mind uh, to break focus. Three, matter of fact, I got three things. We cannot allow an unrenewed mind to break our focus, to sabotage our concentration, right. and abort our assignment. Yeah. That's what he wants to do. That's the carnal mind, an unrenewed mind, that part of us in that space that we've not allowed ourselves to enjoy the prophetic process. Remember, there's a desire drive and momentum that's to come out of Psalms 105, 19 we talked about until the word of the Lord tried us so in, the, in that space the word of the Lord is proving us and testing us and, and, and giving us the logistics of how to make the sound decisions and mature decisions so we can be able to sort through life so we don't have to be covered about with the, the, with the cares of this life, amen and the, and the lust of the other things that deceive us and riches that come to fight against that it that God is bringing us to that it is important and we got to give ourselves to it. We got to give our, our, our cognitive abilities, which is to be able to 
to be uh, contemplative and, 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 and to go within yourself and allow that the safe haven we're going to have is to making sure the meditation of our hearts and the words of our mouth be a settlement in sight. Amen. 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 That's what the enemy wants to do. He wants to do what? Break our focus, sabotage our concentration, Amen. get us thinking about other things. Because you know what? If you can see it, you can have it. There's a bigger picture. And our ability to meditate upon a thing. That's why the enemy wants us to get into worry and dread. Because he wants to break our, what? Focus and do what? Sabotage our concentration. Right? For, to do what? To abort our assignment. So when we get to our assignment, we don't have the necessary intuition, strength, power, energy. Amen. To bring it to fruition. So that's what he wants to do. Pharaoh just wants you to, uh, he wants to enslave us and keep us so fixated on where we came from. In that space, I'm not going to have to think about where we came from. We're supposed to think about where we're headed. Amen? And if, if, and if you allow those three, three things to happen, eventually you're going to prolong your journey. God, we have an expiration date. God don't. Yes. God has a long time because it's his plan, it's his purpose and he's going to work it out. If it's not in my generation, it will be a generation in the earth. There's no shadow of turning in them. There's no variableness in them. So whatever he has already pre-appointed for a generation is going to get it done. It may not be us, but it will be a generation that will get it done. Amen? Next verse. <coughs> and Joshua said to the people, he said, after you from the place after you recognize the, the, the anointing that's in the ark, the throne right, actually the ark of the covenant. I don't know, did I mention this? That is actually the throne of God. Mm -hmm. That's what a uh, uh, Hebraic sense felt like that, that God did dwell between the cherubims, yeah, yeah. and it was the throne of God. So it's yeah. actually the throne of God yeah. or oh, a portable unit. <laughs> God got on display, mm -hmm. but anyhow, uh, and before they, they can get to it. They have to see it. They have to remove from their place. Mm -hmm. And then in the meantime, in that space, they got to sanctify themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't say come to the altar. Yeah. Didn't say call the 900 number. Mm -hmm. Didn't say have a, a, a prophetic team or apostolic team or intercessors or, you know, you get what I'm saying? You can't dial it up. <laughs> you, you have to sanctify yourself. There's a personal level of accountability. Yes. Sanctification is no longer sufficient to the contemporary church. We've cast it aside. We call it legalism. We call it religion. But sanctification is going to be, the, I'm telling you, the underpinning yeah. for us to be able to sustain the turbulent storms that come. <laughs> now, trust me. Trust me. Because the enemy, he wants us to cast away that. The, 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 the role of being holy, the role of being sanctified, set aside for God. Jesus was set aside, I must be satisfied. I'm set aside because of what Jesus did for me. His work on the cross has set us aside. Has what? Sanctified us. Now the sanctification has to be worked out into my members. That renewing your mind is a part of sanctification. People try to say, well, you don't need to be sanctified. That's just a, one of the old terms. And, yeah. and No, no, no. Sanctification. If you, if you renew your mind, sanctify, sanctification is automatic. Yeah. Sanctification is automatic. The struggles, the problems, the issues, the appetites, the dictates, the passions, the pull, the draw. Amen. They will not exist. If you renew your mind, tell your neighbor, I gotta be renewed. Yeah. I gotta be renewed. Tell them again. Tell the next one. Say, we gotta be renewed. So you can't carry that old garbage. You tell them that you can't take what you experience in one season to the next season. You gotta cast it aside. You gotta be renewed in the spirit of mind. You gotta have a new perception. That's what being renewed in the spirit of your mind. A renewed mind is your perceptions change. The way you view God, the way you view yourself, and the way you view others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, can you just think about it if you really understood what I just said? No alts, no offenses, no jealousy, no betrayal, 
Mm -hmm. yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No Judas's, mm -hmm. no Korahs, mm -hmm. no Absaloms. Mm -hmm. Just a house sanctified. Yeah. Yeah. A, a house of foundation that's standing sure. Yeah. Remember, he said, nevertheless, the foundation of God standing sure, having this yeah. seal upon yeah. Yeah. The Lord knoweth them that are his. Yeah. 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 He said, a man need to purge himself. You ever read it over there? And, and, anybody ever? Yes, and Timothy. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 19 to 21, I used to quote all of it. When I was a concert, the guy gave me that. He said, digest this. Get it in your spirit. You want to be a vessel of honor? Purge yourself. Sanctify yourself. Challenge your thought patterns. When the thoughts come into your mind, interpret those thoughts. Filter it through the scriptures. Just don't let them land. Yeah, yeah. Thoughts come, but don't let them land. Don't, yeah. don't grab them up. Can you just, some of us so easy, we just reach up and grab them. We can't let them, we can't let them happen. Yes. I'm speaking to myself this morning. Mm -hmm. we got to draw from the recesses of our spirit, man. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. See, the, the, the soul, the mind wants to keep us in, in, in I'm telling you, in a roller coaster ride. He don't, he don't want the, the, the unrenewed mind. The enemy will use it to make sure we don't get to it. Yeah. Yeah. He'll prolong our journey. He'll break our focus. Mm -hmm. And if that, those things happen, we abort our assignment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I don't want to abort my assignment. Because yeah. yeah. see, the enemy, you know, God uses our imaginations, but the enemy, he uses our imaginations, but he likes to revert to old systems, so he uses our memory. Our memory is, 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 it could be an asset for us, it could, or a liability. Yeah. Yeah. But he likes to repro, uh, deprogram us, to, yeah. to go back into some of the old struggles and yeah. old uh, tendencies, amen, and bring them up on the screen of our mind and tell you, you'll never get free from me. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm here to tell you, you can and we will. Yeah. Yeah.